I want to share with you something that I've just seen, which I haven't seen for years. And it's something that, in fact, I don't think I've, well, no, I'm pretty sure I've never seen in this volume. It's just incredible. I cannot tell you, sorry, slight distraction, clouded yellow going past France. I will be doing a whole playlist, if you haven't seen some of the videos already, on some of the amazing flora and fauna that I've seen on my travels. I'm on the way to southwest France at the moment. I'm currently near the west coast, near La Rochelle, and it's absolutely covered in clouded yellow, as it appears. <laughs> I'll try and get a few clips and put them in. But I wanted to share with you this absolute spectacle of this field of acres and acres and acres of poppies. I just hope this video goes some way to showing you what is behind me. Not only that, if you can occasionally make out, I've got a nightingale singing in the scrub over there. Middle of the day now, pretty warm, probably 24, 25 degrees. Skylarks everywhere. The occasional car, and I'm just on the way to the Marais Poitevin, which is a region in the west of France, which is renowned for these wonderful canal-like waterways, which I can't wait to see. Black cap. Yeah, it might be a bit difficult to pick out the nightingale, but it's singing its heart out in this scrub behind me. Had a shrike of some sort, just flew from the bushes, or from this kind of scrubby hedgerow. Um, behind me as I pulled in in the truck just off the side of the road here. Not sure whether it was great grey or red backed. Bit of investigative work to do yet. But it's just incredible to see this field of poppies. Now poppies obviously are an annual and what I find amazing about this field is it's pretty much just poppies. So whether the farmers have done this as like a cover crop for a year, they've just turned it over to let the poppy spread or whether it is a field just for poppies, I'm not quite sure, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I kid you not of the millions of poppy heads that there are behind me, every single one just about has an insect or something on it. Oh, here's a clouded yellow. I'll try and show you one in the flesh. Look. If you can see that. Not sure how well you get in this. I'll try and get a couple of clips to put in, as I say, but Nightingale singing away. And this is just part of my fascination with France, is just these florally diverse areas. It's obviously a very limestone rich ground, you can see all the stone in the ground, obviously limestone, calcareous soils, limestone chalk, very, very good for wildflowers. That was a painted lady, went skimming past. Just incredible, absolutely amazing. Um, black red start seems to be everywhere on the rooftops around here, as with Northern France as well. What a spectacle. All I can hear by the old car his bird song, just magic. And I've just seen my first black kites as well. Oh, and I nearly, nearly ran over two turtle doves. I was just coming off the slipway of a motorway yesterday and um, there were two turtle doves just sat on the side of the road, just pretty much on the white line. I didn't obviously go near them intensely. It was just going round a bend and they just flew up out the road. Luckily, we were, we'd slowed right down to go around the bend, but uh, Two turtle doves. I can't remember how many. It's at least 10 years since I've seen two turtle doves. There's the nightingale. Just birds on and grasshoppers as well. Probably hear the grasshoppers doing their little jeep jeep. There's the nightingale. What a place. Anyway, must press on. Uh, I've got lots to see on this kind of fleeting tour of France while I head down to 
the southwest to do a consultation down there for a couple who are looking at doing a really what re, really exciting rewilding project down near the Pyrenees so can't wait to get down there no doubt many more videos for you guys to come anyway a brief snip on what you can expect to find if you come to this part of France absolutely love the place <music>
avec ma vie, mon petit chez moi, mon mal de tête, mon point de foi, j'y pense et puis j'oublie. C'est la vie, c'est la vie. Well, what an incredible day it's been here in France. This is day three of my trip so far and it's been an absolute red letter day for me, quite apt with the colours that the stone monuments are lit up with. In this beautiful port of La Rochelle, I've had my first stone curlews, saw four in the same field. I've had lesser purple emperors, golden orioles, black kites, cattle egra. It's just been a mind-blowing day along with turtle doves, nightingales, cuckoos. I really couldn't have asked for much more. Oh and large tortoiseshell as well. I had my first ones of those in the Marais Poitavan. Apologies for the noise. I'm in between two buskers who are <laughs> sort of battling it out on the edge of this port but it really is a gorgeous place. We had dinner down in one of the restaurants down there. If you ever get to the west part of France, I strongly recommend La Rochelle. It's absolutely wonderful, vibrant town with a lot of history. Really is incredible. So, yes, I really have had a blast today. It's just been one of those days that you will never ever forget. And so I'm gonna go and enjoy another few more minutes of this wonderful nightlife from our balcony, which, <laughs> yeah, a very nice spot this is indeed. So, uh, yes. Tomorrow is another day, we're heading south again, even further south into France, towards the southwest of France, through Aquitaine, uh, down past Bordeaux, down towards Toulouse, and I really can't wait to see what awaits me down in that part of France. So, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my evening, I'll see you soon.